Medieval RPG games have been a popular genre in the gaming industry for decades. The first game, Ultima IV, Quest of the Avatar, was released in 1985. However, it was not until the 1990s that the genre really took off with the release of popular games such as The Elder Scrolls Arena in 1994 and Baldur's Gate in 1998. In 2000s, where the medieval RPG genre continued to thrive with the release of hit games like The Witcher in 2007 and Dragon Age Origins in 2009, these games offered players a more immersive and detailed medieval world to explore, with complex storylines and engaging gameplay, recent years. The medieval RPG genre has seen a resurgence in popularity with the release of games like The Elder Scrolls Skyrim 5 releasing in 2011 and The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt 2015. In 2020 whereas the medieval RPG genre continues to be a popular choice for gamers with the release of games like Crusader Kings 3 and The Outward. These games offer players the opportunity to immerse themselves in a rich medieval world and experience epic adventures and quests. These games have gained a large following due to their expansive worlds, rich storytelling, and immersive gameplay, and now with the next-gen ray tracing and graphic upgrades, these games are becoming more popular with stunning visual graphical features. Overall, the medieval RPG genre has evolved significantly over the past three decades, offering players a wide range of immersive and engaging gameplay experiences. From the early days of Ultima 4 to the modern-day releases of Crusader Kings 3, these games have captivated the hearts and minds of gamers around the world. Now let's talk about the reason behind making this video in the first place. But before that, we have made more contents here on this channel and these videos gave you some information value. Consider subscribing to the channel and hit the bell button to get notified of our upcoming video, so you won't miss any. After watching this video, check our website for gaming related articles to read about and subscribe for free newsletter for content updates will drop in your inboxes. Now let's talk about the Blight New Survival 4 player co-op third person action RPG. Blight Survival is an upcoming medieval roguelike title that intends on delivering intense action gameplay combined with horror elements. It is currently undergoing development by Hainer Studio and judging by the small gameplay trailer footage, it seems promising. The general idea of the game and its overall gameplay has got me interested. The game story revolves around, in a war-torn region between two different states and a mysterious plague known as Blight is on the rise. It turns people into undead skeleton zombies and it is your duty to find out the root cause of this and put an end to it once and for all. The game has co-op online multiplayer also, which will be available once the game releases. The game also encourages you to be creative with your approach, allowing multiple playstyles. You can also choose between the huge roster of weapons and armor to customize them to build your playstyle. Unfortunately, at the time of making this video, there has yet to be an official release date announced for Blight Survival. On Twitter game page, the Blight Survival account mentioned that it is too early to tell the game would be coming this year in 2023, we hope so. At the beginning of its latest trailer, the gameplay shown was considered pre-alpha and far from its development. Once the game hits its beta gameplay players can expect much more details about the game and the final quality of the game. Blight Survival is described as an upcoming gritty, medieval co-op action horror roguelike Souls combat built on Unreal Engine 5. The gameplay is said to be a very, very difficult mix between Dark Souls series and the Mordha and built around co-op PvP multiplayer survival game. Besides the gritty and captivating setting, Blight Survival will offer players a large selection of weapons and armor and a huge map filled with secrets and currency, all with the help of up to three players. The game will also feature customizable characters and weapons that will affect both the visuals and gameplay. The combat is absolutely brutal, and every swing of your weapon has a certain weight to it, and character movements are feel realistic, but not too heavy that they end up feeling slow and unresponsive. It's a very careful balance. It's rather surprising that a indie game studio has managed to get it right the first time around. Although, we have wait for the actual gameplay itself to see how the game performance going to be good or not. The game will include survival-style looting, in which you can upgrade your arsenal of weapons and armor, as well as loot the dead bodies you kill for even more exciting rewards. Overall Blight Survival appears to be a thrilling survival co-op horror title. In Discord server, the developers also hinted at a possible new, Invasion Mode. 
This is likely to be done in a similar manner to Dark Souls raid concept for in-game PvP. Regardless, it's an exciting feature that will mix up the gameplay and put our wits to the test in the game's PvP combat. Despite all the hype surrounding Blight, the developer have not yet confirmed a release date. Furthermore, there is no insight on a potential release from the gameplay reveal trailer or the game's Discord server. So, unfortunately, it still may be a while before we'll be able to get our hands on this exciting and gritty survival game. However, we're confident that we'll see more of the game in the coming months. Blight Survival appears to be on the right track and is a game worth keeping an eye on. However, the game is still in its early stages of development, so many details about the story remain unknown. What are the new game modes the game has to offer and is there going to be siege mode where you can command AI companion in a war between two different states? This game could be the long-awaited breath of fresh air the zombie franchise has needed for a few years now as it brings a nice plot shift to the same old themes of survival against all odds. Most apocalyptic games focused on zombies, like Back 4 Blood, take place in the modern era or even further into the future, showing the rapid devolvement of human civilization in the face of an undying army of zombies. The game is currently only being developed for PC. However, the console's versions will be released later in the coming months. Kaos, the actual development studio, is a small indie game studio consisting small groups of people working. The developer team is likely to grow in numbers, you can understand the significant amount of work that's already cut out for them with building the game from the ground up for PC. So, as the studio expands its team and the game approaches its beta test, we may get a more concrete answer on whether Blight Survival will be coming to consoles. Even if it does, it's safe to assume it'll be limited to next generation consoles. Let's just hope it's not exclusive if it does end up coming to console. The games industry is known for changing drastically with time, and while plenty of gaming trends and popular genres have come and gone through the years, action-adventure games is one that has remained in fashion since the longest of time. Those wanting to experience the game on current-gen consoles might get the chance if Blight, Survival ends up being a smash hit upon its debut, but as it stands now it's going to be a long wait at the very least. There's plenty of potential in Blight, Survival, thanks to its ambitious production values and brutal combat, and we really hope that developers take note of big AAA companies' mistakes and make the game more enjoyable and worth the hypes it made. Let us know what you think of this new Medieval Souls-like indie game in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching. See you guys on the next one, and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for future updates.